The following equation is given. List all rational roots that are possible according to the rational zero theorem. Okay, so we have to start by looking at the factors of 45, which is the last one. So factors of 45, it's the factors of the constant term over the factors of the leading coefficient. So there's a one here in front of the x cubed, so factors of one. So for the factors of 45, I'm gonna draw a little picture to see if I can figure out what they are. So 45 is really, um, let's see, it's really five times nine, right? And then nine is three times three. So let's see, so one is a factor of 45. So is three, okay? Um, so is five, so plus or minus five. So is nine, right, so is nine. And then you can multiply any of these two numbers and get a factor, right? So like 15, five times three is 15, that should be a factor of 45. Um, what else? Um, let's see, five times three is 15. I think, I think that's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be it, right? So, because five times nine is 45, five times three is 15, three times three is nine, we already have that. So, oh, then 45. So those should be all the factors of 45 over the factors of one, which is just one which is just plus or minus one. And then you just do one over one, three over one, five over one, et cetera, so you just get the top piece. So this would be plus or minus one, plus or minus three, plus or minus five, plus or minus nine, plus or minus 15, plus or minus 45. All right, let's go ahead and type these in. Uh, I'm gonna use the plus or minus key. So let's see, if you click here, yep, there it is, there's the plus or minus key. So plus or minus one, comma, plus or minus three, comma, plus or minus five plus or minus nine plus or minus 15 and then last but not least plus or minus 45 moment of truth yes got it right good stuff all right use synthetic division to test several possible rational roots in order to identify one actual root so basically now what you do is you just use synthetic division with these with these numbers here right with any of these numbers here um, I'm going to start by, um, you're supposed to start by checking 1, but you can see that if I plug in 1 here, I'd get 1 minus 5 minus 9 plus 45. There's no way that's going to be 0. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I should, I should check something else. So I'm going to start at a random place. I'm going to check 5. Why 5? I just have a feeling that it might work, right? So, so check 5. And then so what you do is you put the 5 here, and you draw a little bracket and then you write down the coefficients of your equation. So one, negative five, negative nine, 45. So one, negative five, negative nine. I hope this one works. So how do you know this will work? Well, if you get zero as the remainder, you know five is the answer. If you don't get zero, then you have to check another one. Let's, let's, let's cross our fingers. So you bring down the one, so one, one times five is five. You add, you get zero. Zero times five is zero. You add, you get negative nine, negative nine times, oh, that is super lucky. So we got zero. So this is really good. So yes, because this means that x equals five is the answer, right? This is the root, right? This is a root of the equation. It's a solution to the equation. So we got really lucky. Um, most of the time you don't get zero. So if you don't get zero, what do you do? You just keep doing this. You just keep picking different numbers. So how did I know to pick five? I just had a feeling by looking at this, like if I plug in one here, it'd be one minus five minus nine plus 45. That, that's not zero. I figured to get rid of this 45, we're gonna need a bigger number up here. So, so I went with five and I got super, super lucky. Let's go ahead and type it in. That was awesome, so five. All right, now it says use the root from part B to solve the equation. Okay, so what you do now is you have to start with one less, so this is, a cubic function so you have to start with x squared so you're looking here and starting with x squared so it's 1 times x squared plus 0 times x minus 9 equals 0 and you have to solve this so this is going to be x squared minus 9 equals 0 oh this factors this is the difference of squares x minus 3 x plus 3 equals 0 and so we get two possible answers, three and negative three. So that's it. Now we gotta keep in mind here, they want all of the answers. So the other answer is five, 
So we need to include that one as well um, in our answer. So this would be 3, negative 3, 5. Let's try it. Yep, good stuff. Hope that made sense.